Whether you're in HR, sales, admin, or finance, you've probably faced these office problems. Today, I'm going to solve five real-life workplace issues using just Excel, no fancy tools, just smart tricks. Before we get started, please subscribe to the channel. I share practical Excel tutorials, real-life office problem solutions, and tips that can help you work smarter with Excel. Our first task is to calculate sales commission. Let's say you're working in sales, and you want to find the commission rate for each salesperson based on their total sales. On the left, we have a list of salespeople and their total sales amounts. And on the right, we have a commission slab table where different sales ranges are linked to different commission rates. Our goal is to return the correct commission percentage for each sale. For example, if the sale is $5,500, we want to find the matching rate from the slab, which is 10%. Let me show you how to do this using XLOOKUP. In the Sales Commission Rate column, type XLOOKUP. Now, select the sales amount cell. Then type a comma and select the sales thresholds from the slab table, press F4 to fix the range. Another comma and then select the corresponding commission rates, also with absolute reference. Again press F4 to fix the range. Now type two commas and finally add minus one. The minus one at the end tells Excel to find the closest match less than or equal to the sales amount, perfect for slabs. For example, if someone made $4,500 in sales, Excel matches it to the $1,000 threshold and returns 5%. If they made $12,000, it picks the $10,000 slab and gives 12%. Now press Enter, and there you go, we have the correct commission rate. Drag the formula down for the rest of the rows, and Excel will calculate it for all salespeople. Convert the result to a percentage using the formatting options. And finally, to calculate the actual commission amount, just multiply the commission rate with the sales amount, and you have your sales commission ready. Let's move on to our next task. Imagine this, your manager walks in and says, Hey, can you quickly pull up a list of our top 5 sales performers for this month? I need it for the review meeting. In this video, I'll show you how to do that in seconds using just a simple Excel formula. Here we have a list of sales agents and their total sales. Now, let's say you need to find the top 5 performers. We'll use three Excel functions, large, filter, and sort. I know what you're thinking, three functions in one formula? But don't worry, I'm going to break it down step by step, and you'll see just how easy it is. Let's start with the large function. It helps us find the top end to each value in a list, which is exactly what we need to identify top performers. Before we begin, let's convert this data into an Excel table for better structure and dynamic referencing. To do that, select your data, press Ctrl plus T, and hit Enter. Now our data is formatted as a table, which makes formulas easier to manage. Next, let's find the fifth largest sales value. In an empty cell, type is equal to large, now, select the sales column, type a comma, and then 5, since we want the fifth largest value. Close the bracket and press enter. And there it is, this is the fifth highest sales amount in our dataset. Next, we'll use the filter function. The filter function helps us extract rows from a dataset based on a specific condition. In our case, the condition is sales amount should be greater than or equal to the fifth largest value, the one we just calculated using the large function. First let's just copy this formula not cell but formula. Type filter. Select the sales agent and sales amount column. Comma, select the sales amount column, type greater than and equal to sign, and paste this formula here. Close parenthesis and press enter. This gives us the top five performers. Now we want to sort the filtered data so that the top performers appear at the top, in descending order. To do that, we'll wrap our existing formula inside the sort function. At the beginning of the formula, type sort. Open parenthesis. Then, go to the end of the formula and type comma, 2, again comma, and minus 1 for descending order. And there you go, your final list shows the top 5 sales agents, sorted from highest to lowest sales. Next task is add a timestamp when a checkbox is checked. In this task, we'll solve a common office problem. 
Whenever a task is marked as done using a checkbox, we want Excel to automatically record the date and time it was checked, and not change it later. First, we'll insert checkboxes next to each task. For that select this column. Go to Insert. Click on Checkbox. Now, let's go to the column where we want the timestamp to appear. In the first cell, type this formula using the IFS function. Open parenthesis, now select the cell, is equal to false, now type double quotes to keep it blank as value 1. Now, type D4, is equal to double quotes, comma, now, open and close parenthesis. Now function displays the current date and time, and it updates automatically whenever the worksheet is recalculated. Again comma, type true, comma, D4, close parenthesis and press enter. Drag this formula down. But when you press enter, you might see incorrect timestamps or a circular reference error. That's because in this formula, we're referring to the same cell where the formula exists. To fix this error, go to File, click on Options, click on Formulas and check this Enable Interactive Calculations options. This allows Excel to process formulas that refer to themselves, which we're using here to lock the timestamp after the checkbox is checked. Click OK, and now, every time you check the checkbox, Excel will enter the current date and time, and it won't change the next time you open the file or refresh the sheet. Moving to our next task. Sometimes at work, you're asked to present the team structure or show who reports to whom, whether it's for onboarding, project planning, or an internal presentation. In this task, I'll show you how to quickly create an organization chart in Excel to visualize the reporting hierarchy. You have list of employees with their designation, department, and reporting officer. First, go to the Insert tab on the ribbon, click on SmartArt, and choose Hierarchy from the left panel. Then select Organizational Chart and click OK. You'll see a basic chart appear, now just click on the text pane on the left to enter your structure faster. Copy all the employee's name and paste it here. Now let's format the chart according to the hierarchy order. Michael is the CEO. So everyone else are under him. So select all other employees and press tab. Now, Sarah is CFO, select other finance officials and press tab. Adjust all other employees according to their hierarchy. We can even format color of shapes. Org charts like this are perfect for internal team presentations, restructuring plans, or reporting clarity in growing teams. Let's move to our next task. Let's say you're sharing a report or template with your team, but you only want them to edit specific cells, like input fields, and keep the rest of the sheet protected. In this task, I'll show you how to lock an Excel sheet while keeping certain cells unlocked and editable. For example, you've created a monthly budget sheet, and you're sharing it with your team member. You want that person to enter the actual expenses, but you don't want it to accidentally change your formulas or the budget values. Select the cells under Actual Amount. Press Ctrl plus 1. It opens Format Cells window, go to the Protection tab and uncheck Locked. Click OK. Now go to the Review tab, click Protect Sheet. You can enter a password or leave it blank. Make sure Select Unlocked Cells is checked and click OK. Now your sheet is protected and users can only update the Actual Amount column, and everything else is locked, including your formulas. This is great for sharing templates with team members or clients, you stay in control of the structure, while letting them fill in only what's needed. And that brings us to the end of this video on solving real-life office challenges using Excel. I hope these tasks helped you work smarter, save time, and feel more confident with Excel in your day-to-day -day job. If you found this series useful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your team. And of course, let me know in the comments what kind of Excel content you'd love to see next. See you in the next video.